Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about a feature that is new to 8050, uh, and it's the ability to change the untagged VLAN membership of an interface without first removing it from one VLAN and then adding it to the other. So it's just going to let us swap those dynamically on the fly. So, from my uh, 7250, as always, um, let's let's look at what we've got already. So, if I look in the running config, I have VLAN 10 here, and I have 1110 and 1111. So, I have two ports untagged in this VLAN. So, let's say I wanted to take port 1110 and move it to another VLAN, right? Um, because it's untagged, it can only exist in one VLAN ever. If it was tagged, it could exist in multiple VLANs at the same time. And also, the other thing to note is, by default, all of our ports are in the default VLAN, or VLAN 1 in this case. Um, and so, as soon as you untag them in any other VLAN, it pulls them out of the default VLAN and puts them into your new VLAN. So again, only one VLAN at a time when it's untagged. So Let's say I config T, uh, I'll go to VLAN 20, and uh, so, so let's say I tried to untag E1110. Well, the system's going to refuse, right? So it gives me an error, and it says that interface 1110 is not a member of the default VLAN. Absolutely right. So prior to 8050, the only way to move that VLAN was I'd have to do go back to VLAN 10, do a no untag E1110, then go to VLAN 20, then do a untag E1110. So it's a few extra steps. Now I've done it so many times that you know my brain kind of does it automatically. Um, but really what I'm doing is I have to take it out of my VLAN 10, which puts it back in the default VLAN. Then you put it in 20, which takes it out of the default VLAN and puts it into 20. Okay, so not a big deal, but it would be much easier just to have a single command to move those over, right? So let's, um, let's have a look at um, our interface, let's say. Uh, 1111. So let's go into interface E1110 uh, and we'll do a VLAN dash config move, right? And it's move untagged uh, and it wants to know what VLAN you want to move it to. So this is the destination VLAN. So we are in 10 already, right? So we're going to move it to 20. That's it. So rather than having to remove it from the from VLAN 10 to put it in the default and then go into VLAN 20 and untag it into there, I could just go into that interface and say move the untagged VLAN, and you can only have one, move the untagged VLAN to whatever destination. So if I go back and look at my running config now, we'll see that with that single command, right, I moved it into VLAN 20. So... Um, and that was done from the from the interface level, right? So so again, if I go to interface E one one eleven, I can do the same thing. So VLAN dash config. So one one eleven, right? We can see is currently in VLAN ten. So we'll say move um, untagged, and then the destination VLAN twenty. So there it says it deleted it from ten and it added it into 20. So now if we look back at the running config, we have no ports left in VLAN 10, and both of our ports are in VLAN 20. So much easier you know, doing a single command than having to do multiple commands on the interface. And, and it also works with dual mode. So if you had dual mode, you could do it that way. But um, untagged is, is, is how we did it in this example. All right, so that's it for today, and thanks for joining.